Okay, let me turn this off. DJ Spivey. Ah, I hate doing that. I should have lowered the volume. You know, if you're a real number, I can tell that stuff. Okay, what was it? Oh, let me let me see what I had played this morning. Did I even start off with? I didn't start off with Nina this morning. No, I did not. I didn't do Nina. No, I didn't do Nina. I didn't do Marvin. I didn't do Love Woke Me Up this morning. Things changed. What can I tell you? What it did. Do? <laughs> okay. <laughs> It'll be the subject of my uh, of the uh, the Instagram. Uh, Corey Hokum. Wow. Well, I'll get to that later. But uh, I'll say, whoa. What am I doing? Let me let me set up here. Let me set up here. Or the uh, thing, as you know, this is the this is behind the scenes. <laughs> uh, little feature I've started. I'm calling it a feature, which you know I'm talking about. Where before I do my Instagram, usually in the morning, then I have my other camera. That would be this camera here. Recording how I set up for the Instagram. Do the Instagram, so then I might see because the Instagram goes to Instagram. And I have no way, I guess it's archived, but, you know, they sort of control it. So if they wanted to erase all my stuff, then I wouldn't have it anymore, you see. But this way, when I'm talking to you, well, I'm talking to you, but I'm, when I'm talking to Instagram people on Instagram, of course, you people here, all my three or four people that listen, you're all a privilege. Ah. So anyway, so the reason why I do that is because I'm, when I first started YouTube, I did it for archival purposes only. All I want to do is get it well, archive. It's supposed to be just my memoirs, you know, like a, a, a audio memoir of what my life is like. You know, this started like, I guess, officially 2014, something like that. Anyway. Now, I always used to drink something, tell you what I'm drinking. And there's certain certain conventions I have. Then at the end, you know, I say, you know, this is tea for the patterns and taking the train to the bed. Then you know what I always suspect um, to identify, you know, identify myself and all that stuff. And then when Instagram came around because of the pandemic, I started Instagram. What am I doing here? What's going on here? I started Instagram with the pandemic. So then I realized that Instagram was also doing the same thing, but I still wanted to somehow archive my thing because when it goes to YouTube, yeah, but it's, it's under Creative Commons, so I guess they don't mess, the algorithm doesn't mess with me. I'm insignificant because I don't have it's not monetized enough like that. So, uh, so then what I did was I said, oh okay, let me since my stuff that goes on YouTube automatically uh, BitChute picks it up, so. So that way it's archived, you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm fully archived. Let me start. You know the deal. I gotta get. I just came back from my walk. Okay. I gotta get the incense. No, chase away all the bad things. Why am I talking like this? I got, like I said, I just came back from my walk. And this, it's like, sort of. Chill this morning. Let me take my headphones off. Let me turn my headphones off first. Like that. Turn the power off. Oh, okay. Now I can hear me, hear you, or whatever it is. Ah, okay. So, uh, so that's what happens. Uh, I set this up for you, and then I, I do it. So it's like the making of, the real making of, you know, from the beginning. Well, not the very beginning. The very beginning is when I put this, mount this on my little, uh, it's a, a, a little base thing, but it's plastic and it broke on me one particular point. And so I had to put it back on with uh, with uh, Gorilla Glue. Gorilla Glue really works on plastic, Mike. So that so it's been holding up. But here now I'm going to have a little dilemma because I'm going to New York tomorrow. So uh, uh, so the making of, I probably won't won't do the time I'm in New York, but that's that's sort of unfair, isn't it? I don't know. So what I might do is this is leave this camera here. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm gonna work something out because I don't want to really carry the base with me. That's the problem. I don't want to carry that base with me because uh, I have my other base I always carry with me. Oh, I know what I do. Since this is a base that's been prepared, or whatever happened, what I will do is I will 
go, I will take this, not the base, but, but take the phone, take the two phones, whatever. So I'll, I'll continue to think, hope maybe, because then to, I get in tomorrow, Thursday, late, then Friday I do some running around because I got to go on the, see if this car thing is working. And um, and then I'll, let me put this stuff back because I do something, I like to put it back right away, otherwise things get so messed up. So Friday, I'll find another little base, you know. So when I go to when I go to Africa, I'll carry the I'll carry that base. But this will stay here in Virginia. This is whatever flimsy. That's what it's supposed to problem solved. Hey, there you go. So uh, I'm gonna talk about uh, Corey Holcomb's show, but when I woke up this, I'll, I'll tell you when I when I do the Instagram. Um, but I wanted to fill up. With, um, now they talked a little bit about. Uh, 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 they keep on forgetting what it is. Woman King, right? Now, I told you, I went to, uh, I saw Woman King at um, at Commodore Theater, uh, um, you know, in Portsmouth. Not Portsmouth. Yeah, yeah Portsmouth. We keep on off all Portsmouth, Chesapeake, they're all the same thing. Anyway, and there's a certain history about that theater that people don't like to, black people don't like to go to. But it's a good, it's a dinner theater. You know, you can eat while the thing is. But what I forgot to say, one of the reasons I like about it, you know, they do the traditional thing where they open it, when the thing starts, they open the curtain. I always like that they open the curtain, big screen, whatever it is. They got the good sound system, whatever it is. But also, um, you know, you don't get a lot of previews. In fact, what I'm thinking about, the, what I'm thinking about The Woman King, see, now I'm getting sort of, when people have been talking about this and they haven't seen a movie, I'm getting sort of a certain way about it. And like I said, when I first see a movie, especially in a big screen, I just sort of take it in. And then in these days, you know, I just wait till it comes on the, the other thing, then I watch it again in more detail or whatever it is. But think, I think what I'm going to do now is I might. I'm thinking about it. It may or may not happen because, uh, you know, I'm on a, I'm on my, uh, let me move this just a little bit. Let me see that there. There we go. Sorry. I'm on my, uh, uh, I'm on, I'm on the, the, the Mystic Wind tour right now. So I, I'll breeze in, in and out of things. And, my, and like I breeze in down physically, mentally, it, it does the same thing. I just sort of breeze in and out, right? So um, I might go see the film again, but because not at the Commodore Theater. I'll go to the regular, the other cinema like that and see what happens. But here's the thing about the Commodore. They don't play a lot of um, uh, featurettes. They don't have no commercials. And they don't, you know, that's that movies now, they got commercials, you know, before the movie. And they don't, and, and, and they play with a lot of things that's coming right. But the only one they play with, I think, Amsterdam, uh, that, that, uh, 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 the, 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 the Washington guys and you know Denzel son I keep on saying Denzel son because it's a, something David Washington whatever his name is right I don't follow these things right um, so then that movie with and it's also with uh, Christian Bale and Margot Robbie and, and Chris uh, Chris Rock is in hey Chris Rock's supposed to be coming to uh, come coming this way you know uh, later on in October my sister thinks that she's going to go see it to probably try to get me. Um, I saw Chris Rock in in in, um, in, uh, in South Africa, in Cape Town. So I'm not really. I'm, I'm like these comedians these, these days. I'm not really. Uh, I don't know. I don't know shows. I'd rather go see some other kind of shows, some music shows or something like that. But you no, know, if I go see, if, if I get a chance to see Chris Rock again, I I might. I'll see what happens. Um. But that's what I like. They just show one. They just show that one thing and then the movie starts. So I'm to go through this whole thing about 15 minutes of, you know, previews or whatever have you. But also, like I told you all before, I told you yesterday, it's a continuation of yesterday. Uh, when you get your change, right, like a census, uh, for me and my sister, it's like, because we're both senior citizens, it's like $8 a piece, 8 and 8 16 so they give you $4 change. And so they give in $2 bills. That's their whole thing. I guess they want to go, I guess $2 bills didn't come out before before. Anyway, uh, I have no re reason. I have no. I don't know why they have the. They give out two dollar bills, but that's their part of their charm. So I collect them, and a uh, two dollar bill, just in case you need to, has Jefferson on it. Thomas, the younger, uh, the, the younger looking picture of Jefferson, right? And then on the back they have a. Uh, then on the back they have the uh, Declaration of Independence, seventeen seventy six. The signing of the Declaration of Independence like that. Now, I sort of remember, now what year this one comes out in? Let me just see something here. They usually have the year. Series 
2017. Okay, this is 2017. But I have some, I think it was Susan B. Anthony. I think it was Susan B. Anthony. They had on a $2 bill. They had some, they had something, okay, maybe I'm wrong. They had something $2 bill. And on the back, they had the first Continental Congress on the back. So when you look, you see like one person that looked black. They said, oh, that's because of tight when the, the ink was. No, no, there was one person that looked black. I got to look back and see if I got one of those other bills, right? But anyway, so this 2000. 17 joint that's the one they have now okay so um because they were saying some again you know corey has seen the film darlene has seen the film the marcus had seen the film right but they had to go to uh, brother Dwan. he was he he, had, he didn't see the film he didn't want to see the film because he heard about it he read certain things about it, about the history and whatever have you and again then if you don't know you're watching this uh, uh, uh hollywood film and they say yeah and it is the white uh Producers, whatever have you, whatever, well, whoever had the script idea, I have to see who wrote this script. But um, they was going to sneak this stuff in. Um, so it's the same thing, man. You have to know what you're watching. Come on, right? So I want to see it again. I can be, I'm gonna say critical. But one of the things that people don't get, there's all kinds of things that happen in a movie. This is what we call tropes. Okay, now this when this happened, I said there's something happening here. Now check this out. I'm gonna give this. This is a spoiler for two or three people. You probably have seen the film anyway. Okay. But but nobody's getting what well, I shouldn't say nobody, because I haven't watched every I haven't watched all the things or whatever it is. But you can tell certain things. Like the 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 the, the girl that, that we see the 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 training of the warriors through, you know, uh, ends up that that um the main woman, the the woman king becomes the woman king. She uh she was raped. By this other Oyo guy from Oyo, right? Uh, I guess they Oyo. I guess they they're saying that the the the, the Nigerians came up to Dahomey and is. I have no idea what, what that, the whole Oyo thing is about. But um, the the head of the Oyo people back in the day, like I guess oh, however the other girl was, whatever years ago it was, raped uh, the the character that. Um, uh, Viola Davis plays, and 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 when the baby came out, right, um, she uh, 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 she the other her main uh, woman that came up through the ranks with her told her to take it and get rid of the baby, like that. But before she got rid of the baby, you know, I saw the stuff coming. She she did a thing of scar on, on her shoulder, or back thing, whatever it is, and put a and put a uh, what do you call that? A, a shark tooth in there. This is a baby shark tooth. It was a small tooth. Put the shark tooth and then I guess healed over. I don't know why. If she wanted to get rid of the baby, why would she mark the baby? Whatever. Well, but she, I, that's what I'm trying to say. You don't you don't follow the logic. In fact, here's the thing about films also. Follow this. In the very beginning, it's supposed to be logical to you. And then somewhere about the end of the second act, let's put let's say it's three acts. End of the second act, going into the third act, whatever have you. They've set up certain things that you follow on logic, logic, logic. Then about the end of the second act, then things sort, if you have some sort of, uh, well, things start coming together or not coming together, or, or you have to accept certain things. So by the time you get to the third act, you know, you whatever's happened, you're bought into the film. So no matter what, what phantasmagorical things you know, <laughs> they have in the film, well, you know, you accept it because you follow this thing on. So, so if you have a, um, I can just sort of think, like on Crank, like Crank, you know, uh, Jason Statham, when they, that last one, where he's, he's, they, him and the bad guys fall out the plane, and then he hits a car, boom, and put the dude. Well, you accept, I don't know why you do it, you accept the fact that this guy fell out of plane with the other guy, splattered on the car, and then went up in the air, splattered on the cement, and he's still alive. Well, that's that's not possible. But because it's a film, you take it, you take it. It's bothering me because I can't. Okay, no, shit. That's bottom it. Okay. So I'm just trying to say that's what film is about, you know? But if you want to take all this stuff literally, like everything is a documentary, you know, and they gotta be accurate, whatever have you, well, then, you know, like I said, you gotta make your own film. Um, okay, so I'm almost ready for this. I waxed on enough about that. Let's do let's do the uh Instagram. Because this last then I gotta go tomorrow. I gotta freak this out because I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'll figure it out. Okay. Let me see. Put the thing on vibrate so I won't be interrupted with that. 
There's a brother they had on the. Oh, I'll get, maybe I'll get to that. Let me, let me see. Come on, back, back. There we go. Let me see here. Okay, we got everything ready for that. Boom, boom. There we go. Yep. A little swig of coconut water. I'll drink all this, whatever, today. I'm going to have a breakfast. I mean, usually I have my, my water for breakfast, but I'm going to change it up today. I'm going to Kroger's to get me a croissant. I like those croissants, a big croissant. And I got beef bacon, some eggs. I made black rice last night. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make, I'm going to even say egg fried rice with the black rice, as black rice and garlic, actually. Uh, and uh, and have that with uh, with eggs, with, with, with eggs and black rice, and uh, the, the the bacon, the bread, and that's what I'm gonna do. All right, <laughs> you know. Okay, we're ready. Here we go. Wait a second. Let me do something with this Instagram. With this thing, make sure this thing is cut out too soon. Display. 30 seconds. Hey, stop 30 seconds. 30 minutes. Okay, now. We're back. We're back. There we go. Da-da. Da-da. Oh, let me change. Adjust the camera. Adjust. 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 Just, just, just. Adjust. Hey, Instagram. I've adjusted. This is me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to the bed. And look, I woke up this morning. I usually, I, I whatever, I, certain things come up, whatever have you. And uh, um, it's about, I guess it was about five o'clock or something like that. And went to, went to, you know, did my thing, whatever have you. Then I came back. And I turned the phone on, the phone, the phone, and you know, lo and behold, Corio, you know, fifty one fifty is on, right? Now fifty. You see, the thing is this. Okay. Um, fifty one fifty comes on like a Tuesday night, right? And I, I'm I'm in the bed already, right? So usually I'll catch it. Either I'll I usually try to download it and listen to some some time later. But a lot of times when I try to download, some goes awry. There, I don't, technically I don't know what they're doing with fifty one. I do know what they're doing with fifty one fifty, but so I said, okay, I'm gonna take my walk. So let me just play it, you know, through Brave and you no know, have no commercial, no interruptions, and just. You know, and, and walk. It's because it's like two hours. I know my, my morning walk is going to be two hours or, or a little bit more. So I'll do it that way. So 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 naturally, so that means I I, I forgot or my brain just went. I, I didn't play no Nina this morning. Didn't play no no Marvin this morning. Didn't play, you know, love, you know. Well, I didn't play my normal music. I was listening to 5150 the whole time when I started out, right? Let me say technically about 5150. You know, same thing with, uh, there's two programs I listen to it in entirety. There's 5150. This is for what I call my street, continue my street knowledge, my street cred, which is a little bit different. You say, well, can't you get that from Tyreek? Whatever. Now, Tyreek is a whole other, he's a, he's a, he's a whole other street, Hotep street cred or whatever. And that black national street cred, that was it. But Corey is like street street cred. <laughs> so I always monitor because, I mean, whole Corey be the truth, but what got me was I turned on and he's got, and I've always said this, but he's he's got this uh, new music video where he's a preacher and and uh, uh, preaching. He got he's got a fifty one fifty robe. I got now there's something I would buy the fifty one fifty robe. I'd buy that right. And there he's being a preacher in the church and they, he's doing this whole song. It's real. It's hilarious. It's Corey. What can you say? You know, I saw him a couple of years ago. Um, uh, more than a couple of years ago, um, in New York at Caroline's. You know. I love Corey. And 5150, more important. Anyway, so the, the problem with the technical people, 5150, they're just not ready. You know, so I'm like, okay, let me give you an example. So I'm going off on 5150. But let me just give, it, give, give you an example. I'll get back to what I was saying. Like, Darlene does this Darlene Otis loose talk about stuff, you know? And um, so she knows what she's going to talk about. If, and, and then they want to show some stuff. You know, what I mean? if they want to show something that she's talking about, then the technician's supposed to have the material ready. But no, they got to go looking through it. But look, just let her, she should let the technicians know and they should look the stuff up. They have the pictures all ready to go up already. But, you know, technically, we're always lacking. You know what I mean? 
I mean, we should be able to look up things in a second, in an instant, and it doesn't happen. Um, same thing with uh, with uh, uh, the compensatory concept. You know, they te- they always have technical issues. Why? At this particular point, you've done it so much, you shouldn't no longer have technical issues. You should be on it. You know, I'm not. You don't have to be Joe Rogan like you know, where the guys like real quick. You know, like that. But you got to have some sort. At this particular point, you got to know what's going on. Come on, my technic, my techno. Yeah, okay, let me put it this way. I was born, you know, in, in, in the fifties, right? And there was this whole thing in the fifties called a uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, an efficiency expert. That was one of the things. They just nothing but a consultant. But this day, they call a consultant, but an efficiency expert. I'm one of those people. I can come to your studio and have you be able to run this stuff better. Whoever your technicians are, y'all need to go. I, you, it could be done better. You're supposed to grow. You're not supposed to stay, stay the same. Okay, so just stop with this nonsense. The usual suspects, whatever. It's human error. Get better humans. Get better technicians to do your thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't say that. I don't want anybody to lose their job this day and age, right? Then study. Come on now, get it together. Get it together. And the funny thing is. I see some things. I love. I love growth. I love things, and I've seen like like for instance with with um, with uh, Neely Fuller Jr. Mr. Bobby has really grown as as a co-host. And he's done certain things. It's, you know, it's cool or whatever, but it's what it is. But fifty one fifty, you don't seem to grow very much. I think one of the things is Darlene, especially. She needs to go and listen to the program, not for Chris, just to listen to the program. Because it happens all the time. She's giving her report, and she's not a reporter. And so Corey has to always go and say, well, what does that mean, darling? Or what, what do you mean by that? Because she doesn't give any background and stuff like that. So come on now. Y'all can listen to the program. Just all Darlene has to do is listen to the program and you'll see what I mean. It's called an air check in radio. We call it air check. And I always advise everybody, tell everybody if you have a program on, you do the program. As soon as it's done, you go someplace. If it's two hours, it's tough luck. If it's two hours, three hours, it doesn't matter. And you listen to it. You don't listen to it as a criticism. You just let it wash over. Each week, you keep on, especially as a weekly thing, keep on listening to the program. You don't make any notes. You have to do anything because your brain will automatically adjust. And sooner or later, if you keep on listening, you keep on hearing uh, Corey say, hey, Darlene, what does that mean? What do you mean by that? Just find that. Well, he's, Corey is really a master of what he does. People don't, don't appreciate how good Corey really is. He is really, really good. Because he thinks like if you was a listener, if you was a, a, a person in the streets, you know what I mean? What would you want to know? A lot of people don't do that. Anyway, I waxed on a little bit too much doing like that. But I'm just saying, 5150, oh man, it's it's. I love them. I stay in touch with the, a certain segment of the uh, of the black experience. We used to call it black. The certain segment of the black experience. I uh, I stay with. Um, I, I appreciate uh, for fifty one fifty four as well as a competitor. I go from Neely Fuller to, to Corey Hogan and everything in between. I, you should do the same right now. So I gotta go. I gotta go buy. I'm, I'm gonna jump in the truck, go to Kroger's, and, and get me some croissant so I can do my breakfast. All right. All right. Well, midday meal. I'll wait. I'll see. Okay, so I'll check you all later. Be well. Sorry to uh, do commercial. Well, I, I guess I did a commercial for 5150. Go check it out. Corey is a master what he's doing. The 5150 show. In fact, he, he uh, they had talked about some stuff. And I really do wait. I want to see if, if he ever gets um, uh, Sister Ali on there. He ever gets... Um, uh, What's the boy name? Uh, I see his face. Uh, um, the, the 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 descendant of, of Frederick Douglass guy. You know, if they ever get him on there, or he get recent Islam. That's really good. But I would even love Corey. That would mess up fifty one fifty because then he couldn't curse. I don't know if if I I shouldn't say this. Even if he got Farrakhan on there, but some people like that. I want him. To, I I just need Corey to get people like that on there because so because he's he's a. He, Corey is really, really, like most comedians, very intelligent, incredibly intelligent, IQ of like off the hook, right? All right, so that's it. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Okay, that's done. Again, I've been talking way too long. I don't need to talk this this long anymore. My brain just be rattling or something like that. Uh, I'm going to just call the brother... Speaks, speaks about about fifty one fifty. That's I just pay fifty one fifty. People know, no fifty one fifty.
I'll just put it that way. I'll tag. Let me tag. Oh, yeah. Let me tag 5150. Darlene. D-A-R-L. Yeah, there it is. I'll do. I'll tag Darlene. I'll tag her. And I'll tag 5150. 5150. No results. Oh, oh no, there it is. 5150 show. I'll tag which one? That's the clips one. I'll tag the show one. I'll just leave it at those two. I'll leave it alone. That's it. I'm really not big on this tagging business. I should be more of a Western branch. I should be more on this tagging business, but I'm not. I'm lacking. I'll, uh, I'll do in the morning done and that's shared and that'll go our history oh man I like this okay all right so that's going so that's it um let me put these glasses back um I want uh, I'll see what happens I don't know how I'm gonna do this I think tomorrow uh, because I just only try to do one Instagram posting in the morning whatever that but I might do what I might do if I go see the king, the the war, the woman king. Again, I might post a little fifty one fifty fifty one fifty. I might post um, on the Instagram later on, but I, I don't know. Like that. Either way, at least tomorrow. look. It don't matter. I'll check you all later. Be well and uh, you know stay healthy.